push up, try and control a side lane forever. But maybe he's going to have a Talia coming up to that top lane, along with the Rumble, along with the Ivan for Nuke Duck. And of course, Talia into Corky. Uh, the package has a limited time. It must be used before it expires, which means a lot of people will just throw it into the lane to kill the minions, but they go on Nuketak. Now, Nuketak gets caught, gets rooted, gets knocked back, gets charmed. Nuketak's down for first blood. Uh, all the good work from Vitality around this mid lane. Nuketak building into the TP in the face of the enemy. Misfits want to engage. Vitality did not back away. It's a three on four. Alfari puts down the Dominus, and Maxwell's got a let's bounce, ready to Scoop up any victims. Here comes Power of Evil from the mid lane. Vitality, that was shocking. Greedy, greedy TP there coming through. Need to go so quick. And not back away. Yeah. You know, kudos now to Misfits. Let's take nothing away from them. They reacted very well. Power of Evil dodges a lot of the volley from Nuke Duck. Puts down the package and knocks Nuke Duck backwards. His spell shield gets popped. The exhaust is down on Cabo. POE was running that one. Power of Evil has his fourth. Kill. So that fourth item point should be able to output a significant amount of damage, but now mid lane. All right, Steelback takes a lot of damage. Good root down onto Max Law. Cell Division passive is available. Let's Bounce comes down. The Cell Division is pop. Hansama is simply too yeah. far away. And Misfits... Vitality was available. Misfits didn't have the same vision control on the top side Death jungle. Death oh. to Hans Sama, but Vanda doesn't follow it through. The quickness into the entrance and Power of Evil's unstoppable. Instant reply is vital. They will have their smite available, and this is a significant amount of damage that can be done quickly to the Baron, but see if Joko can get in there. So important. Equalizer and Threaded Volley are available. Max Law helps out Power of Evil to get his sixth kill. Start to go with him, but look, the damage backed away. Yeah, no oh. Rumble, no Caitlyn. Joko As dead. We jump out of the replay. We can only assume Max Roll down as we approach 30 minutes into the game. I really want to see what Ignar decides to build. He's got that Aegis of the Legion. And Aegis has got a number of different build parts. Look at the damage on the damage. Attack. Power of Evil and Hans Sama get the double team. Vitality are stuck inside Vanda's box. Power of Evil gets his seventh, looking for his eighth, but won't be able to secure it. Hans Sama denies it with the double kill. And this, now this should be a safe and easy battle. Yeah, once again, a single pick against Vitality leads into a small skirmish going in Misfits' favor. And Steelback is left running away at the end of the fight, not even autoing for the majority of that skirmish that just happened. And Tower, it's probably going to be enough to deal in the damage to kill it on its own. Like, look, there you go, two autos from Power, and in Misfits go. All right, where's Let's Bounce? Still on cooldown. Alfari is flashed forward. The uh, equalizer gets dropped down. Power of Evil gets his eighth. Power of Evil gets oh. his ninth. That's a triple. Looking for the quadra. Oh, can he That's get a it? Quadra. There's a pen to kill on the horizon. They've left it. Nobody from Misfits. Oh, he's, he's trying dead. to take it because he's down. <laughs> the quadra from Power of Evil will not result in another pen to kill. Nuke Duck is running for his life. Gets caught by everything from Misfits. The ace secures the base. And Misfits obliterate vitality it is a crushing crushing defeat and the nexus falls misfits 1-0